Hey guys, it's Skater, and we are here. I gotta turn that fucking shit off. Why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting to turn that crap off. I'm glad I caught it early though. Um, notifications. Yeah, we're here for episode 5 of The Walking Dead. No time left. There's absolutely no time left, man. Uh, let's go back to episode 4 and look at the stats real quick in case uh, you didn't watch any of the previous videos you forgot. Um, I did not kill the boy in the attic. I threatened or lied to Vernon. I brought Clementine to Crawford. I pulled up Ben from his death. And I showed the bite. So those are the choices I made from the past episode. And they will be influenced into this episode. Because that's how the game works. And that's a great idea for a game. There needs to be more games like this. Let's jump right into it. Episode 5, no time left. I hope my capture card doesn't freeze at all. I'll be watching the capture card the whole time. I might need to turn it down. Oh yeah, I need to turn this down a little bit. That should be good. I'm inside. We're in the game. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Was that Carly? Can we at least look for my parents when we get there? They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. That's what I like to hear, Ben. Clementine. All right, so everyone's coming with us except Kenny. Ben's gonna prove himself this episode. I said it last episode. I'm gonna say it this episode. He's gonna prove himself to me that he can pull through and man up the most important time. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how I play for the last time. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully there's like more Walking Dead stuff. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. What the hell? Who is this person? Alright, so uh, how are we gonna kill the people? Ben, go. Uh, yeah. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. Let's move out. Uh-uh, Ben. Man up. How's that feeling? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Alright. 
I'm on it. Even though I suck at this. Oh my god. It's like the same thing at the beginning of every game. You just gotta find your way out of something. I hate this. Alright. Of course. Why wouldn't it be empty? I'm not looking at obvious fucking places. What's the most stupidest place to look at up here? Why can't I look up there? Can't I look up here? Or else is stupid. Surgical apply is stupid. Not looking at any of the fine. Of course it's empty. Is this one empty too? Just to show all of them. No! What's that? What is it? Look at it first. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me out just looking at it. A what? A rib spreader? That ugh. Like a contact. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Ooh, are we gonna see that? I'm gonna spread somebody's ribs open. Just some surgical supplies. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Can we go up the stairs? Or up this? Elevator. Okay, let's just look at the elevator. I said look at it, don't do that. Uh, oh, the rib spreader. What the hell? Move it! I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Oh, them ribs being ripped open. Ripped apart. How's that thing holding? What the? What happened? Flee! Hey! Oh. Oh. Oh, Lee. You're about to die. This is the end of the episode. Ooh. And he's out. That's, uh, that's great. That's a bad way to start it. What the hell happened? It's the mic. Well, what can we do? I don't know. Help me move him. Come on. Jesus. Are you sure this will help? You got any better ideas? Okay. It's now or never. What the hell? Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We still gotta do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Cut my arm. Of course arm. not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What the fuck? What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's <sighs> any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. Oh. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? Ah. Uh, uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh this is a chance to live. I'm pretty sure the bite's going to kill me either way. If I have the opportunity to live, it's okay. Ooh. Ah. Fuck this. Fuck. Just gotta do it. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ooh, that looks dirty as fuck. Oh, shit. Go as fast as I can. Ooh, don't show that. Just pass. Uh. Fast would be good. Look. Oh! Ah! Try to stay still. Uh, just keep screaming, ah! man. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh. Ah! Oh. oh. You know what? That was stupid of me, wasn't it? I remember back in another episode, we cut that dude's leg off, and he fucking turned into a zombie anyway. No, that's because he had too much blood, blood loss. If you can just save the blood, I think I'll be okay. Holy shit. 
He ain't bleeding, though. Oh, my God. You're alive. It was getting to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. Ugh. <sighs> uh, let's talk about my arm. My arm's on fire. <laughs> I can still feel the Ooh. fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. You're, you can feel your fingers. You able to travel. You lost some blood. How the hell do you feel your fingers? What's going on? Yeah. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Huh? Hey, how are you supposed to climb? Can you do anything with one hand? Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, Maybe I should have thought about Clementine. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor. Or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Oh. You're going. Yeah, I should have probably left my arm on so I could get to Clementine faster. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know if any of you watch Naruto when the Raikage <sighs> cut his arm off. You okay down there? Remember, quiet. Alright. It's no big deal. <sighs> Another arm would just get in the way. You got this, Lee. Oh. Let's go. Up. What the hell? Could this be any more, like, laggier? Can you climb? Let's go. Come on, Lee. We ain't got all day. What the fuck? Why is he not climbing anymore? What the fuck? Watch out! Everything okay up there? I think I just peed myself. Ooh. So yes then. <laughs> oh man. The beginning's always rough. This is ridiculous. I kinda wish I left my arm on now, but as long as he's alive, I guess it's okay. Maybe me and Clementine can both live happily ever after. That's a lot of walkers. Good thing we're past them. <sighs> Alright, so, so far, we're okay. Nothing major. Maybe I can live. 